so students in this lecture i am going to explain you the process of the dialysis so not only the process even uh, you have you people have to know what is meant by dialysis and for which patients this dialysis is used and what is this dialysis actually and what is the process which is present behind this dialysis so in this video i am going to explain you the process of the dialysis along with the diagram so that you people can easily understand so actually what is dialysis right so before knowing about what is this dialysis firstly you have to know about the function of the kidneys so we know that the kidneys plays a major and vital role in our human being function right so what is the main function of the kidneys it it mainly helps in purification of the blood right so the purification of the blood is not done then the human being will lead to death or coma because once you consume the food then the nutrients along with this bad nutrients the good nutrients will also be extracted i mean will get absorbed by the will i and then it will be sent to the blood the nutrients will be sent into the blood and that nutrients may be either good nutrients or bad nutrients and if there is a bad nutrients then uh, there will be accumulation of the toxic substances in that blood and to remove the toxic substances which are present in the blood then it will be sent to the kidneys such that the kidneys will do the purification of the blood so that the toxic substances will be removed it will be separated from the blood and the toxic substances will be excreted out in the form of urine from the human beings through urethra so this is what we all of us know so in this way the kidneys plays a major role where it mainly helps in purification of the blood where the toxic substances will be separated from the blood right so that is the main uh team of this kidneys so once let us think if this kidneys uh, were failed in its functioning then what will happen then the toxic substances will be accumulated in the blood itself where uh, there will be no purification of the blood so that the human being or as a patient will lead to death or else he may lead to coma so to prevent that there is a process which has been invented and that process is called as dialysis so this dialysis process is also called as artificial kidney so why this process is called as artificial kidney because it performs the function same as a kidney so what is the function of the kidney purification of the blood so if the kidneys were failed then this process will be used so the process is called as dialysis so this dialysis is a process where uh, the purification of the blood will be done so as the functions are similar hence this dialysis is called as artificial kidney so let us see what is meant by this dialysis and why it is used dialysis machine is used to filter the blood of a person where both the kidneys were damaged so this is the most important thing which you people have to remember if the both the kidneys are failed then only the dialysis procedure will be used so if one of the kidney is failed then another kidney will perform its function where it purifies the blood but if both the kidneys were failed then definitely there is only one choice which is called as dialysis right so this procedure will be used only if both of the kidneys were failed or damaged and if the 75 to 80% of the kidneys were damaged where both the kidneys are damaged then the dialysis procedure will be performed so this process is called as hemodialysis so hemodialysis let us divide this let us divide let us divide this word hemo means blood dialysis means purification together the purification of the blood is called as hemodialysis right i hope you would understand what i'm saying about and now let us uh, discuss about this dialysis process in detail fine so coming to the procedure of this dialysis you are going to select a patient whose kidneys are failed completely i mean 75 to 80% of their kidneys will be failed right so you are going to select that type of patient for your uh, for your scientific fiction then what you are going to do then you are going to take up take the blood you are going to extract that unpure blood from the arteries of the patient we know that arteries and veins are the uh, you know you know about arteries and veins right which are present in the human nervous system then what will happen uh, then you are going to take up take the unpure blood from the arteries right and now you are going to pure it how you are going to pure them by dialyzer so this is the machine which is used for the dialysis process so here you are going to do the purification process of that unpure blood and then you are going to send that unpure blood back to the veins fine so finally what did you understand about this you are going to extract the blood from the arteries and you are going to send the pure blood into the veins so the uh, the unpure blood will be extracted from the arteries and the pure blood will be ex uh, will be sent into the veins after the purification will be done in the dialyzer and this process is said to be as dialysis right so now what is the process which will be done in this dialyzer i have said you only purification but how the purification will be done 
let us enough so in this dialyzer we are going to use a dialyzing fluid and the dialyzing fluid is called as dialysate actually this is a solution the solution plays a major and vital role which mainly helps in the purification of the blood right so this dialyzing fluid will be placed in this dialyzer machine such that the purification of the blood will be done so how let us see normally this dialyzing fluid contains electrolytes salts and pure water so here the salts includes bicarbonates and sodium right and now all of these three has a capacity to absorb the toxins which are present in the blood so let us say this is a, a, a blood source right so you are going to insert the uh, blood from the unpure blood from the arteries into the dialyzer right so this dialyzer contains dialyzing fluid so the dialyzing fluid is nothing but the dialysate so once the blood is present in this dialyzer then it contains toxins because it is unpure blood which has been taken up right so this is unpure blood so this unpure blood means it contains toxins so you see nothing toxins are nothing but these are harmful substances so if these toxins are accumulated like that only then the person will lead to death so to prevent that you are going to perform this dialysis process you are you are going to remove these toxins right so what is your main aim you are going to remove these toxins so here the toxins are present in the blood and these toxins will be absorbed by the dialysate solution because this dialysate has a capacity i mean it has absorbing capacity so as the dialysate has absorbing capacity then the toxins which are present in the blood will be absorbed will be absorbed and this dialysing fluid will be removed out it will be thrown it will be thrown out because uh, this dialysing fluid will be unpure because it has been uh, absorbed by the it, it it absorbs the toxins right hence this dialysing fluid should be removed then what will happen then this blood will become pure because here the if the toxins are present in the blood then it is unpure but these toxins are absorbed by this dialysing fluid right then now the blood will be pure in form and again the dead blood will be sent into the veins right now you have understood the process right so again i am going to explain to you the process in this uh, in this in this manner so that you people can easily understand so let us say these are the pumps like which will be used so this is the artery right main artery and let us think this is a vein so from the main artery you are going to extract the unpure blood from the patient so here there is there will be a patient and from the patient through that main artery the unpure blood will be extracted and once it is extracted then it will be sent to the dialyzer through this pressure pump so this pressure pump is used uh, to send this blood into this i mean this unpure blood into this dialyzer right on the other hand what you are going to do now here you are going to take the fresh dialyzing fluid exactly students you are going to take fresh dialyzing fluid so dialyzing fluid example what i have said you dialysate which is a dialysate solution which contains electrolytes salts and pure water right now what will happen now you are going to send this unpure blood into this dialyzer along with this fresh dialyzing fluid i mean the dialysate solution now what will happen here the purification process will be done so what is the purification process absorbing capacity of the toxins which are present in the blood just now i have said you right so that process will be done so just now i have explained you here absorbance of this toxins by this dialysate solution right so this process will be done in this dialyzer machine so now once the process will be done then the uh, waste the oral used dialyzing fluid will be removed out and then the fresh pure blood fresh pure blood will be sent into the veins of that particular patient right so this will be the process this will be the process of the dialysis right so how this used dialyzing fluid will be extract will be removed out because the toxins uh, the, here uh, normally this used dialyzing fluid contains toxins which are present in the blood because it has been absorbed exactly students it has been absorbed right so what is the uh, say again i'm going to say you clearly so from here from the main artery you are going to take the unpure blood and once the unpure blood is taken up then it will be uh, pumped out uh, into the dialyzer through this pressure pump and once the unpure blood will enter into this dialyzer machine then it starts its performance so what is the performance where here uh, from on the other hand you are going to add the fresh dialyzing fluid so once the fresh dialysing fluid will be added then the absorbance will be done because this unpure blood contains toxins and the toxins will be absorbed by this fresh dialysing fluid so what is the fresh dialysing fluid dialysate so this dialysate will absorb the toxins which are present in the blood and that process will be done in this dialyzer right and once this toxins are absorbed once this toxins are absorbed by this fresh dialysing agent then what will happen then the dialysing agent or is the dialysing fluid will be removed out through uh, another pump into this another tank right 
so this is called as used dialysing fluid which contains toxins harmful toxins which are present in the blood so once the toxins are removed then the blood will be pure it, uh, it will convert from unpure form to the pure form and that pure form of the blood will again enter into the veins of the same patient right but not into the arteries but not into the arteries it will be sent into the veins so this is one of the most important thing which you people have to remember so this is uh, the process of the dialysis so i hope it will be clear for you people to understand about this and in the next video i'm going to continue this section where i'm going to explain to you about the types of the dialysis process fine so if you like this explanation don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you